This is an Acer Nitro 5 model number AN515. It comes preloaded with an Intel Core i5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 4 gigabyte model. This isn't a review video, but I am going to take it apart and see what the upgrade path looks like. The first upgrade we have for this unit is a Samsung 980. It's a one terabyte model and can do up to 3,500 megabytes per second read and write. We're also going to be adding an additional 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and we're going to be using our trusty iFixit toolkit. If you do not have one of these toolkits, I strongly suggest you get one. It will pay for itself the first time you use it. Remove all the screws, and the good thing is they're all identical, so you don't have to worry about labeling which screw goes where. They're all the same size. The bottom case easily comes off. You don't need any special pry tools. I just did it with my bare hands. Just a quick shake at the end to remove it completely. As you can see, the upgrade path on this laptop is really good. The first thing that I notice is an expansion slot for a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. And Acer did include in the box the data cable that you will need if you want to add a two and a half inch drive. This computer came preloaded with two eight gigabyte memory sticks, which is great. That means we've got dual channel DDR. What I'm going to be doing is installing a 16 gigabyte DDR4 module, which bumps up the total RAM to 24 gigabytes. Now you do have the option of upgrading up to 64 gigabytes if you wanted to by installing two 32 gigabyte memory sticks. In this case for this computer, it's just not necessary, but we do have the option. This is a close-up so you can see all the available ports. If we look closely, we can see some additional upgrades that are available to this computer, such as the M.2 Wi-Fi antenna, which we could upgrade in the future. The Acer Nitro can preload it with a 500 gig SSD drive. And as you can see, it's a single 500 gig chip. And again, we're going to be upgrading it with a Samsung 980, one terabyte model. The last thing that I like to do is turn on the computer before putting the lid back in just to make sure that the computer accepted the memory upgrade without any issues and that it posted correctly. And here we go, everything is fine. The last step is to replace the bottom cover and put in all the screws back. And everything just snaps into place. So again, I think Acer knocked it out of the part with this laptop. Many parts are fully upgradable, under $1,000. You can't go wrong and you can play video games under standard settings. 
If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I do plan on adding much more content on 2022. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I answer every single question. Thank you so much for watching.